111 of Max Blair, the 44 of Dave Hess Jr. We are ready to go. Dave Hess Jr. looking at the inside of Max Blair as they enter turn number three. They run up high and little bumping and banging and it'll be Hess that'll lead lap number one. The Max Blair is right there in the 111. In third place, that is the 29 of Sean Brand. Then the 22B of ba Daryl Bozard running in fourth. Kenny Sean Brand right there, the one, two, three. Sarah Bozard up to four. Jason Janko in fifth. Bump Hedman in sixth in the 22H. Then the 12B of Andy Bazell. Dave Hess Jr. pulling away from the group. It's Max Blair in second. Sean Brand in third. We got him side by side back in the pack. Steve King in the 76 to 44. Of Joe Petiak side by side coming out of turn number two. Some cars working their way up through the field. Got the one of Brandon DeBracklier battling with the one star of Wendell Pinkney there coming down the back chute. Bump Pennick closing up on the back of the 12B of Andy Bazell. But Dave Hess Jr. has about a half a stride away advantage over the 111 of Max Blair. Then as Kenny Schottenbrand running in third. These guys going for 40 laps tonight. Hess won last year, but Max Blair has picked up the feature win many a times here in the September shootout. Good battle about mid-pack. We've got several cars all bunched up together. You've got the 14 of Clay Rufo, the one of Wendell Pinkney, the one of Brandon DeBracklear, D1 of DeBracklear. Right behind them. It's the 32 closing up on them and yeah, they're running two and three wide through the front stretch. Dave Hess Jr. already on lap number eight, working through the tail of the field. He's already gotten around the 32 of Wesley McRae. He's got about two cars separating himself and Max Blair right now. He just made his way around the 20 of Logan Jaquay. I should say the 20 of Nicholas Eck caution out over in turn number four, right around our leaders. Dave Hess Jr. will lead him down. Restart zone in turn four. Green is back out. Kenneth Schaumbrand able to get around Max Blair for a second, and he'll work his way into second place, put Blair back to third. Jason Jenko has moved up to fourth as he got around the B-22 of Daryl Bozer. So Andy Mazzell battling side by side there for the fifth spot, or sixth spot as they go through turns three and four. He's battling with Bump Edmund as Levi Yetter is right behind him in the nine. Dave Hess Jr. passing the start finish line of 12 down. 28 to go and again he's opened up a big gap over second place. Kenny Schaumbrand now. Still got about a half a lap ahead of him before he gets into the lap car. So still a good distance there. The first car he'll be coming up on is the 32 Wesley McRae, the 14R, Clay Rufo heading into the pits. 
All kinds of action going on on the track. Garrett Mon with 43X, he's working his way to the inside. Uh, good side-by-side -side battles throughout the field. The Brackleer side-by-side in the D1. Unfortunately, a car that we're seeing dropping back through the field is the Bump 22 of Bump Hedman. He's got the W3 and John Weaver right behind him now. DeBrack Lear, the D1, looking to the inside of the 44, Joe Petiak. That'd be about the 10th, 11th spot. And our leader, again, coming up on lap traffic on lap number 16. Max Blair now has turned things up a little bit as he is closing up on the back of the 29 as Schalk Brand. He's now looking to the inside. He went on the high side through one and two, looking to the inside of Schalk Brand now through three and four. And Schalk Brand, by Schalk Brand drops to the bottom of the track as well. Taking over that line, Hess working his way through the field. There's three cars separating himself in second place. Schalk Brand now. Got some of the cars running double file up ahead of them. He'll have to work his way through that group as they're battling four positions in front of them. So what Dave Hess Jr. coming up on the one star of Wendell Pitney and the 55 of Chris Schneider. He's easily able to get around that, but the best battle right now is going on for second place. Max Blair all over the back of Kenny Schalkbrand as they're coming into lap traffic as well. They both run to the hop of the track as they work up on the 32 of Wesley and McRae. They'll about have to move up one or two grooves as McRae is staying to the bottom of the track and Schalkbrand still has the advantage, but Max giving him all kinds of pressure. Meanwhile, oh, Joe Petiak in the 44 pulling into the infield. Dave Hess Jr. now again working through traffic. He's got about five cars between himself and second place. He is lapping the field like crazy. Shell Brands Gained about a car length over third place Max Player as Dave Hess Jr. continues to click him off one by one. Coming up on the 217 of Eric Wilson. That'll be the next victim for Hess as he works his way through the field. Then he'll be coming up on the D1 of the Breckelier. Hess is coming out of turn number four while the second place car is just entering turn number turn number one. Hess is going through turns three and four. Easily diving through inside, outside. Having a hard time though right now with Wilson. Wilson giving him a run and not letting him get by too easily. He finally gets around him and will now put Brandon DeBracklier lap down. Kenny Schalkbrand able to hold up all the challenges. Once again, here comes Max Blair. Max Blair with a run down the back stretch. This time he was able to get, he was able to get around Kenny Schalkbrand. And now he's got some work to do to be able to catch up with the 44 car. Dave Hess Jr., 26 down, 14 to go. Looks like Jason Jacob put Came to some ground as he uh, gets closer to Kenny Schalk brand now. That would be your battle for the third spot. Tony Musolino working through the field as well in the 36 car. He just got around the one star of Wendell Pinkney.
It's an eight second gap between first and second, and most of the field already a lap down as Dave Ness Jr. works his way through. Just a dominant performance by the 44 car. Coming up on lap 30. Green flag in hand, ready to go. Seven more laps of super late model racing. Pass to the front again, already opening up a gap. Blair, about five car lengths behind. Jason Janko getting a good run. He and uh, Daryl Boss are in the B-22 battling for the four spot. They're still doubled up behind him for several rows. Caution flag out, caution flag out. The set. Green flag back out with six to go. Dave Hess has been prime on those restarts, getting a quick jump. 184, Luca losing a couple of spots there on that restart. Ken Schaumbrand once again coming up to battle Blair for the second position. He's got the B-22 of Bowser lined up behind him. Jason Jake on the 29J and Andy Bazell were battling there. The pup all right, I should say Daryl Bowser with a great run there. He's getting around the 29 of Chalk Brand. Move Bowser into third. So your top three now are Dave Hess Jr., Max Blair, and Daryl Bowser. Jason Janko and Chalk Brand now battling for position. Janko on the bottom, Chalk Brand on the outside. Andy Bazell and Luca. Next time around, two to go. Dave Hess Jr. out front. He and Max Blair have opened up the gap between themselves and Daryl Bowser, who has about a 10 car length advantage over the 29 of Kenny Schultbrand. Leader coming out of turn number four. He'll see the white flag this time by. Blair trying to make up some ground there, not able to do so. Hess has had a strong car all night. And your September shootout winner, the Super Late Models, Dave Hess Jr. Max Blair will finish second. Daryl Bowser in third. Get Sean Brand in fourth. And Jason Janko will round out the top five. Let him hear, folks. Dave Hess Jr.
Dave, once again, a hell of a run for you tonight. Probably the last thing you wanted to see was one of those last cautions because at one point you had a 10 second advantage over that battle for second place. Said lap cars were just helping you out tonight. They seemed like they were keeping out of the way. Uh, yeah, man, our car was awesome, especially right through the middle of the race. Uh, I was getting, I think, losing the right front tire there towards the end, which I think probably a lot of guys were. Uh, takes a lot of people to make this thing happen. Uh, man, my crew guys, all our sponsors, uh, my wife, kids, my mom and dad, just everybody who's a part on these teams, uh, all three teams, you know, the Sanger family, uh, Alex Anderson, and all their sponsors on those two cars. Uh, just can't thank everybody enough for backing us. And uh, it's been a dream season, and hopefully we can click off a few more here before it's over. And how cool is it to be able to win at the racetrack where your dad has so many wins as well? I know growing up, he was one that I watched all the time, and now you're out here dominating like he did. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, you know, this place has always been tricky to me. It's a bigger track. I always tended to do better at some of the shorter tracks, but uh, we're definitely getting the knack for it here in these last few years. And, uh, you know, I enjoy getting up here every chance we get. So definitely... Uh, means a lot and uh you know without him i wouldn't be able to do, you know we would have never been on this adventure our whole our whole lives so just it takes such a great team and i got to thank every one of them so. and the sponsors you'd like to thank oh god uh everyone knows knows them man i know i'll leave somebody out i really got to practice these but we got a bunch of new ones just everybody who helps all three cars thank you guys uh and thanks to Raceway 7 for putting on these shows. It's uh, hopefully modified. We made the right changes, and we can get that thing back here in Victory Lane. All right, speaking of the modified, we'll let you go jump in here. Let's hear it, folks. Dave Hess, Jr.